Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my live. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Vava Move 28. The specific model number is VABH009. Uh, these are available on uh, Amazon, also on eBay, but I've bought them from Amazon. The standard price at the moment is about £23, but luckily I was in the market for um, wireless uh, stereo Bluetooth headphones and these were on for lightning deal probably because we're quite close to Christmas at this point in time so luckily I got these for £18 instead £17.99 to be precise delivered to your door free of charge uh, I think it was the, 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 it came to me directly from the sellers rather than uh, Amazon but I think if you had Amazon Prime I would have gotten one working day Took about three to five working days, however. So what we're going to do is do a quick unboxing of this. Uh, I'm going to start by peeling these off. Um, in fact, I might pause the video to do that. Hang on a sec. I decided in the end that it was a bit difficult to peel this off. So uh, what we're going to do is just use a pair of scissors to get through it. Uh, coincidentally, I'll, I'll buy these. These are, are used for uh, beard trimming and moustache. They've got the rounded edge. If you want to, you can use it for nose hair trimming as well. Uh, these cost a couple of pounds from eBay. Come in a little case like this as well. Multi-purpose unboxing this one. Anyway, let's get get, uh, get get this out of the way. There you go. That's a Virgin unboxing. Another one on my channel. And put these scissors. Away. It's becoming a bit sunnier today. Uh, still a bit drab outside. It was it was uh, quite snowy a couple of days ago on Sunday. I think all all of Britain came to a bit of a halt. Um, right, there's some oops, like this. Okay, check this out. So I assume you, already, you guys already read this. Okay, it's got two volume buttons. It's got a multi-purpose button as well. It comes with a little case like this, I do like it. I don't think I'll ever use it for this purpose. I think I'd rather just chuck it in my pocket or somewhere else. It's one of the reasons why I bought these headphones rather than say something like it over the ear, uh, over the ear phones, which I could have also got. I, prefer, I much rather prefer this because the problem with over the ear is when you want to put them away, it's a bit of a pain uh, to find. You need to have a bag or something or other. Whereas with these ones, you can just put it in your pocket. The nice and compact, uh, the earbuds. I like the earbuds as well. A bit discreet. Here they are. I'm going to turn on the light just so you can see more clearly. So that's the volume up, volume down. I. This is uh, the the multi-purpose button. I think they call it the uh, multi-function button, MFB. It says here, close the flap when not charging. That's nice and clear there. You can see the DC in. I don't think that you can power these directly from um, the socket, like a standard micro USB charger. I think the voltage needs to be five volts. I believe re reading that online somewhere. Uh, maybe the chargers for the mobile phone are already five volts, in which case you wouldn't have to make any adjustments. But just so you are clear, that's the voltage there. If you stick these uh, or power these directly from your um, from your uh, computer, you shouldn't have any issues anyway. Let's try to get this out. Okay, there's a little notch on the side. I'm going to use that to open it up. Uh, feels robust enough. Feels robust enough. I think you can twist it around a midpoint. Hopefully this is going to last and it's not going to... Um, break or anything like that. Micro USB, no problems. Everyone's got a micro USB cable there. Build quality, um, quite happy with it, quite satisfied with it. I like um, like the little detailing um, on the sides and at the back. I think you can remove these. Um, you can make them adjustable to your size. I'm guessing I'm probably medium size. They've got magnets around it. Like this, uh, let's get this wiry bit out as out of the way as well. Oh, having a little bit of trouble with that. And also, I am aware that um, you know some guys have said, "Can you talk more in your video?" So I decided to talk this time rather than just pointing around the item. Okay, so sorry about that. In pre previous videos, is there not there? No, it's not. Great. So the wire, as you can see, is more of a ribbon rather than a round shape. 
Um, I think it'll work okay over time. I think a ribbon shape is less likely to get tangled. I have a, a mobile phone charger that is similar uh, to this uh, wire, sort of thin wire. Oh, I'll show you right now. There it is. This is a fast charging cable, very long as two meters. It's a lot thicker than the other one, but a lot less uh, likely to get tangled. The multi-purpose, uh, multi-function button rather. One tap, answer the call, two taps, end the call. Um, and it's also got a couple of other functions like um, long press and short press and so on, but I've forgotten the exact, uh, exact functionality of them. There is the uh, manual. There's the English bit. How to use there it is if you want to. If you want to read that, you can pause the video right here and have a little read through. Okay. Yeah. So um, long pressing the uh, volume buttons, I think, skips tracks as well. Here's the other bit. What else you get with it? So this is a little, I don't know what you call this, collar tip, clip, clip to make sure it stays on you, but I, I think this uh, this magnet should be okay. The other way you can use this, of course, is you can sn snag it on something else. If you're driving or um, if you're at work and you've got a metal bit somewhere, you can just put it on there instead, ready for you to access. The way I see myself using this is probably just uh, sticking around my neck so that, all, that, that they're always available. Build quality, I'm quite happy with it. Um, what a world we live in, eh? 2000 and, uh, 2017. I can buy something like this for £18. Never imagine I'll be able to do that. Uh, LED light here, I think it tells you whether it's charging, whether it's fully charged, and it's colour coordinated. I think it's got blue and red light, I believe. Uh, overall nice packaging, nice clear prints, uh, good build good build quality even off the packaging, which is a sign. Which is a good sign. Get a little thank you note from Barbara. Nice. Like that. It's a bit glittery, glossy. I don't know if you can tell, it's a bit uh, a bit jazzy. Like that. Overall the box uh, seems inspired like I don't know about you, but it reminds me of Sony style styling, but uh, that's not a bad thing at all. Not a bad thing at all. Good, good quality right tonight, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they might have started off on um, as a Kickstarter project. Not 100%. I'll give these a try later. I'm sure they work fine. I think someone else has done an unboxing as well as a review, a review of these headphones, and they're quite quite happy with it. Also, if you were to go on, on the Amazon website and look at the review, uh, the reviews um, are quite good for this little item right here, so I look forward to using them. Uh, so once again guys, thanks for tuning in, give it a like, subscribe, comment if you want to and hopefully you found this video helpful. I think there is a couple of more uh, people who have unboxed this previously but I think overall there's a there's a bit of a shortage of um, unboxing of this uh, popular headphone so I thought I'd, um, I'd add to what's available out there on the internet for you guys. So once again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, like, comment, subscribe rather. Uh, thank you for tuning in into my life. Uh, goodbye. Thank you.